it's nighttime now. It gets nighttime very, very early. And I'm just looking up there. I didn't even go upstairs. Look at all those quills just waiting for me to purchase them. I do so well selling quills. Oh well, next time. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Samantha with Jolie Flips Vintage. Adam is not with us today. He is a little busy. So today I'm going to take you guys to American Thrift in Lauder Hill, Florida. It is one of my most favorite American Thrift stores. You will just absolutely love it and I'm sure if you've watched my channel you have already seen American Thrift in Lauder Hill. But first, about six minutes away is my favorite ice cream shop. And I am dairy free as I do have celiac disease and it just kind of goes along with it with me. I'm allergic to casein, protein and whey, which is in milk. So I have found the best dairy free chocolate ice cream ever. And it's here in Coral Springs, which is close to Water Hill. It is called Let's Chill. And I will definitely put the location in the description below. Oh my, looks like they have ice cream flights. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm actually really sad. They took out the dairy-free chocolate and they only had strawberry sherbet, pineapple sherbet, and pomegranate. And y'all, I am not a sherbet person at all. I did try the pineapple and the strawberry one and it was like, okay. And I'm sure that somebody who likes sherbet would really, really have liked it. I don't, but that's only because I don't like the consistency of sherbet. So unfortunately, I will not be coming back until they bring back their chocolate for myself, but I will be coming back for Adam because he does like their pistachio quite a bit. So definitely check out Let's Chill. They have really great homemade ice cream. There's quite a bit of traffic to get there. There were a couple of school zones and a couple of accidents. But before I forget, I want to let you know something about this store. Although it is filled with treasures, it tends to get very dusty. There's just no way they can control um, that they do their best that they can there is a lot of dust in the items that they get especially the vintage antique ones so if you're allergic to dust like me consider wearing some kind of barrier uh, some kind of dust mask to prevent you from inhaling a lot of dust that is a nurse tip for the day parking was not actually bad don't park in the Miami subs area or the other side the other shopping plaza um, they will actually tow your car or boot it okay let's see <clears throat> they close at seven today so we have about a couple hours i instantly gravitate towards owls this is very modern though so i'm likely not going to pick it up but it's kind of nice it would have probably been great on my owl show on whatnot that i had that was really highly successful i didn't realize how many people actually like owls as much as i do so today's sale is 50% off the entire store with colored tags, red and green. This is probably Monty Pottery. And this was very, this type of luster row was very popular in Palm Beach County back in the 70s and 80s. So it doesn't surprise me that it's here in South Florida. And I am going to pick it up because I do feel that there is some value in this face. Right when you walk in, after you take your shopping cart and you make your first right, you're gonna see these white shelves and they have all of these items that are super overpriced. They never impress me, but I like to look at it to see maybe I'll run into something that would be worth the flip, but usually uh, it's not really great research, but uh, God bless them. They try their best, but unfortunately, uh, a lot of those things just sit on those shelves for a very long time because they're just not worth what they're pricing it as these peter beaten bags are always so cute they kind of look like those like straw trivets you know back in the 90s and i will pick it up for myself 
Um, and the inside is polka dot. I'm a big, big polka dot fan, but I love the blue and the tan. But on their actual website, they sell these bags for about $178. Generally, when I come to the store, I dart right towards the hard goods section all the way in the back, but something is telling me to stop here. Look at these totally 80s earrings. <laughs> I need to have them for 99 cents. And they're pierced, which is my favorite. Gonna pick those up. These are cute. Oh my gosh, so many great ones. Look at this like croissant style, but not for $14.99. These are really cute. They're ten dollars. Oh, they're Barce vintage earrings, but I know I'm gonna kick myself for not picking those up for about ten dollars, but I really don't want to because I've tried selling them before and they sell for very close to about ten, fifteen dollars, sometimes even higher to like sixty, but I just don't really want to chance it. These are cute, they're kind of glued on brass. Check these out. Enamel. But it has that like Art Nouveau or Italian design on it. That's cool. So shells are in right now. This is the bangle box. Everything is $3.99 in here. This is wood. Stained wood. Kind of like a bigger bangle usually um, my clients that buy bangles don't really like small lumens small holes um, better to have at least a medium or a large size for resale purposes I'm gonna go ahead and splurge with this vintage hinged shell necklace because I don't know I'm just getting really good vibes it's only five bucks if it doesn't sell I certainly will wear it myself it's so classy and elegant it feels very strong. I'm gonna just set it there for a second. Wow, that's really nice, like crushed abalone shell pieces. Um, feels like resin. $25, no, I just can't do it. This is a really nice ceramic box. Now I have plenty of Asian boxes like this want ten dollars for it i can't tell what it previously was priced at but i'm gonna pass just because i have a lot of those type of patterns this is unique though this looks like it's handcrafted it almost gives me like a salt glaze kind of vibe and someone somebody put this potpourri metal piece on top it's like a potpourri jar metal i'm gonna get it and then of course they wrote directly on it with the sharpie marker but or dry erase marker, which is just as, it is equally as difficult to remove. Dear Santa, the dog did it. Look at this retro yellow vase. It looks retro, but it is modern. And for $2.99, I'm still going to leave it behind. It's nice though. I like to look at the floral arrangements. I think that wreaths are very expensive in stores. This macrame um, made in Japan planter would be a good pickup, but I don't know. It's kind of boring to me. But anyway, wreaths are very expensive in the stores, so I like to look here to see if I can buy any for myself. I don't really flip wreaths yet. Look at this side I don't know that but that's really nice if I was just trying to decorate the space oh this is totally damaged here on the side and I didn't want too much for it anyway but it's super damaged so we'll leave that on the shelf here this is again this however I'm gonna pick up this time it is signed by the artist it says J thick I cannot find this ceramicist or potter anywhere online, but I really love the colors. I love the earth tones, so I will pick that up for just a few dollars. 
This has a really beautiful design on it, but I've seen this before at Walmart. This is a Drew Barrymore collection. It's just really lightweight. They want $7.99 for it. It's just not really my thing, so I'm going to leave it. I'm always looking for shelves to put stuff on, little figurines, and I would pick this up $5.99. I just don't feel like fixing it. The bottom shelf is uh, not good, coming loose. This is Southwestern Art. I don't do well selling it. See that little crack there at the top of the cactus? I just don't like this um, style, so I'm gonna leave it. Are these called washboards? What exactly are these called? Um, but I believe this is meant, it's like a clock. It's meant to look vintage, but it's not. I think they want $4.99. You can put a battery back here. I will leave it, but very cool if you're trying to do that whole vintage decor at your house. Let's put these back where they belong. Looking for wreaths. I'm always looking for wreaths. I usually do a spring type one just all year round. I sometimes do Christmas and this and that, but I like to have uh, a wreath all year round until I get sick of it and then I buy another one, but that one looked pretty, pretty dingy. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ooh, is this leather? Wow, that's really nice. Ew, there's all sorts of dead spiders in there and I don't think I feel like cleaning that and that's freaking me out so I'm going to put it right here. Just put that right there. <laughs> oh, this though. This is a very Art Nouveau pitcher. It's heavy. Just making sure there's no spiders. In there is a co there, there's cobweb in there, but this is nice. It doesn't feel cheap. I'm going to get it. Look at the different stains on this wood vase. I think it's stained. Yeah. Jamaica. It's not vintage. 2007. Incredible color on this vase. I love the design. I will definitely grab that. I like this box. I'm getting atomic vibes from this box. Look at the design. It's all wood inlay. Looks like a souvenir piece from Colombia. They want about five bucks for it, I think. And let's just take a look inside. Nice and clean, definitely a souvenir piece. I will leave it though. This on the other hand, I can't really tell if it's antique. I don't think so. It's probably meant to look like it. Heavy. I love trays. I'm obsessed with trays and I'm running out of space to hold all my trays, but I like to use them to display items when I'm selling out whatnot, especially jewelry, but I'll leave this one because it feels kind of cheap. Let's see here. I like to dig. Look at this. I'm gonna grab this. That's modern. I thought I would see like a button for a light within the box, but nope. More trays. It's pretty modern. I like that for like a beach decor, beach theme in your home. But this wood inlay tray is here. It's $5. It's so beat up and I'm not sure that Woodwell would really save this. It's really beat up it's so unfortunate i don't know what that says it's too small can't read it i'm gonna leave it these wooden bowls however i'm gonna take maybe they're a little modern i don't know where they're from i do have some bowls from haiti like this already at home but not the two-tone these are nice wow i love them and i think i see the big bowl these are cool I'm not going to take that, but let's see how much this is. A little wood oil for this as well. Love the multiple tone. It looks like caramel and chocolate. I love that. I'm going to pick that up, that whole set, and try to sell the whole set like that. 
maybe on Cherish or eBay. <laughs> this is really nice. Um, not for $7, though. I'm sure it's worth way more than that outside of a thrift store, but in a thrift store where I'm trying to resell, I can't. Guitar here. Always random guitars. If Adam was here, he'd take that right off the shelf and start playing it. Lots of organizers, shelves. This is interesting. Maybe it was decor for Halloween. Kind of looks like that Itchy and Scratchy from The Simpsons, right? And I forget which one is the cat, Itchy or Scratchy. It's been a while. Oh, I need to get this wood inlay box. I love that chevron pattern. It's old. The hinges are, they're good. I'm going to use some wood oil on this and salvage it and resell it. Oh, I love it. Oh gosh, that's so beautiful and smooth. No splinters sticking out. Three bucks, y'all. Let me know if you want this. I need a box like this with a key so that when we're doing vintage markets, I could put my money in it. Tempered glass cutting board, definitely modern. The wolves, I think, are a thing right now. But I don't know that this would sell very well. This is like kind of like an LTD commodities cutting board. You know that catalog magazine? My mother used to love buying from there. I like this lemon box. It's giving me Sicilian vintage vibes. That's a metal lid. But it's modern. This box is real nice. Also modern made to look vintage. Made in China. Yeah. I'm going to leave this. I got to watch space around the house. I don't have enough. This is a nice object to put pots with plants in it. Just waiting for people to let me through. <laughs> Men, no shirt, no shoes, no service. Ladies, no shirt, free drinks. Yeah, it's too sleazy for me to pick up. It's a tad bit funny, though. Wow, look at this brass plant um, hanger. I guess you could put anything in it. Um, I don't know. Wow. Definitely vintage. $7.99. Y'all, heavy. Definitely going to bring this to the vintage market. We here at Jolie Flips Vintage have decided to take our business to the next level. Since we are in the chillier months in Florida, we have decided to start becoming vendors at Vintage Markets. We will be at the Rust Market in Lake Worth on Saturday, December 16th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. There will be 75 other vendors there. We were invited by the shop owners of Kelsey Vintage at Lake Park when they came to trash vintage trash fest last week which was a hit so definitely come and check us out if you are in town we look forward to meeting you please pause the video to get the address well even though they used a marker and wrote 199 directly on the vintage brass i'm going to pick this up it's screaming hollywood regency this is a lucite is it a dish holder I know it's Lucite. I'm not going to pick it up because it's pretty scuffed up. Lucite gets scuffed so easily, but what exactly is that? I love that, but I'm going to leave it. I have those. This is a brass Asian bowl. It's very lightweight, probably made in India. I'm going to leave it. This, I thought for a second when I picked it up, it's Michael Aram, but I could feel it that it, I could see that it's not but I'm going to shove it in my cart anyway and just ride around with it these are very modern candle holders from Z Gallery I do love that store very much I have many pieces from that store in my home but I'm going to leave them what is this y'all <laughs> I don't even know what they have it priced at 19 slash 15 Looks like some kind of lever, faucet lever. This is very modern. It's made to look vintage. I like the handles, but I know I've seen this 
Yeah, they want too much for that too. I'm, I know I've seen this on Amazon, I think, but I'm gonna take it anyway. I might need it. This is some kind of string art with the brass studded eyes. I don't know that I like the background color, but it's a unique piece and I do like pandas. Even though he has creepy brass eyes, I'm gonna get it. Okay, I don't know if I like that strawberry background, but still. <laughs> so macrame bowls do pretty well for me, but I'm not so sure how hot lime green will be to resell, so I'm leaving it. Venezia is Venice in Italian. It is obviously a souvenir piece and it's a shorter scarf Shorter than I usually like, but for $1.99, I like the the green and the black and the kind of dark yellow design. So I'm definitely going to pick that up and we'll wear it if it doesn't sell. All these other scarves are catching my eye too. Look at the iridescence on that. Let's see if we can find anything unique. These scarves are so silky. Okay, this is a lucite tray with pewter so i think it's an arthur court it doesn't say arthur court anywhere but i think it is because i think i've seen these before but i'm gonna pick it up charges for complaining whining pouting and crying hilarious wow this vintage hat has tons of black mold in there what the heck yeah we're leaving that interesting piece though these small brass um, Jesus uh, wall hangings always do well for me. I love teapot lamps. Um, they sell for pretty high dollar. Right now, teapot lamps are great. Let's see if this works. They have a little um, thing here to see if electronics work. And score, it does. We're picking it up. This is a vintage smiley face lamp. It looks like someone made this in the 90s probably. When smiley faces were really big around the Nirvana time. Um, but I'm going to leave it. It's plastic and falling apart. I'm not big about lamps because I really just don't know what I'm looking for, to be really honest. We'll leave that up to Jocelyn, the crazy lamp lady. She's so good at that. I've yet to learn about lamps, mostly because I don't want to ship them. <laughs> this is a really nice bowl. I call it my caramel apple bowl. And I've seen it floating around this thrift store since Halloween, since before Halloween. And I uh, mentioned either on a short or on Instagram um, that it looked like caramel apple and it should be a good pickup for Halloween decor. Moon and Stars dish, maybe Ellie Smith. This is nothing burger, just like the red. I love pottery, anything, but this is Southern Living, which is a good brand to resell, honestly, but there's only three. All the metal, some electronics, this clock, it's kind of whimsy modern mm, I don't like it enough we'll put that right back on the shelf these bottles are vintage but it looks like someone painted on the design but it's that art deco peacock looking design is really getting me I like it I'm wondering if I should pick this up 99 cents and look, there's another bottle that was painted. Another vintage bottle, 99 cents. I think I'm gonna pick them up for my own decor. I might end up putting that back, to be honest. <laughs> you guys, this is a Henry Bendel um, glass. And a rare one. It's $7.99, that's well worth the pickup. I could probably flip that for about 50 or $60. Unfortunately, there's only one, but hey. 
I think it's Jarpoint. I think it's called Jarpoint Glass Studio that makes that. Anyway, these candle holders are really nice. I'm really trying to bring clear glass back. I don't know why I ever went out of style. I love clear glass. You can literally match it with any space. Mm. It's plastic or lucite acrylic. These jars are kind of nice. Good for home decor, not resale. Lots of florist pieces, pictures. This is pretty to serve some little patisserie, petit fours, little French desserts. Gorgeous. My mother had something like this growing up. I'm only going to leave it because I don't want to ship it. Oops, I dropped it back there I love it very 80s very nice okay guys whoa 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 this is a Glenn Lukens he was an American ceramicist glass maker and known for jewelry uh, making as well this will sell for over $200 guaranteed nice large bowl does not glow does not glow but it is definitely MCM vintage. Okay. That's amber glass. It's vintage. I'm hearing kind of some music. Yeah, that's not really working. They want $40 for this. I just don't see the value in it. I've seen this piece before. It is... They're selling it for more than what it's worth. I, I don't, and the music box doesn't actually work. So 40 bucks. I believe this holds, I don't know. I would put potpourri inside or scent cubes. Oh, I thought that was Fitz and Floyd. It's not, I'm not messing with porcelain like this. They sit on my shelves for a long time. They're kind of ubiquitous. I don't know if that's like crushed jade i'm not sure but that is all chipped oh look at the look at this it looks like it would be rough but it's really smooth i like this texture but i'll leave it is this a bill campbell no it's pillar holder i'm gonna leave that but i love that drip glaze This shelf sitter is a mold. It's definitely vintage. Don't need any more shelf sitters. Cute though, the colors are very vibrant. Let's see. Don't really wanna mess in here because I cut myself one time, but what are these? It's like anthropomorphic monkeys. I'll just take them. They are made in China, but they are cute. I'll just take them and clean them up. <laughs> this is a resin snake around a rose bush, I guess. It's broken. Very Betsy Johnson meets Hot Topic. Um, oh, I got to stay away from these vases. I have many of them. Lots of Mexican pottery, lots of Peruvian pottery. They just don't sell for me. The wedding vases do if they're signed. I gotta leave this behind. This is probably Peruvian. I gotta leave it behind. I just have too many. That's a souvenir piece. The, this is probably a, like a ginger jar. I probably had a lid on it, but the texture is pretty amazing. But I have them. This is cool. I thought it was redone. I really like it. One of a kind. I like how there's like flowers in the front, polka dots around it, around the border, making it a one of a kind. <laughs> I like that. This cloche is kind of catching my eye a bit, but very ubiquitous. Let's see, got to dig through the clear. I think I'm spotting some Finland glass, but... You know, I don't know. It could be party light for all I know. Party light 
tricks tricks me all the time. Uh, There's a big old chip there. It's heavy. This is Coco Pelli. This is a fertility deity. Looks like a wine base, wine holder, like a platform to put wine on. Another mold, a cat mold. This little bird has $6.99 they want for, and it says something there, but the left wing is broken. I have seen this bird before, and it was broken last time too. Some cased glass pumpkins. Just want to make sure this is not a John Adler. It's a, it's Chinese home goods. I'm not sure about this. I like it, but then again, I don't. It's obviously a project piece. It's signed. I don't know if that said RW, but I like the crackle glaze in the middle. And I might be able to do something with this at home. So I'm going to take it for myself. Let's get back on the shelves here and... And, oh, <laughs> it's super lightweight. I like that panda planter. I have one with elephants everywhere. They're pretty common when you're thrifting. You'll start seeing them all the time. But the panda one is in really good shape here. So I'm going to get that and see if I can resell that. I've sold big shakers like this before, but they were usually pepper mills. I think this is just a salt shaker, but it's still pretty nice. Could use a little wood oil, and I think it's pewter-based, so I'm definitely going to grab that. I like this blue glaze here, but um, it just might be a mass-produced piece. Let's look around. This is a wall pocket by Case Collection, which I believe is a dollar store brand. This fish is clay or some type of pottery, but I don't like it. This vase is made in Italy. Now, I've seen it here before, and I can't wrap my head around it. I'm not sure <laughs> if I actually like it, but I think I'm going to rescue it. There's no chips on it. It says Italy. Somebody might like it. Um, I'm not really a big fan of the fan look. Can't tell if this is vintage or not. Sometimes, especially Asian vases, Asian decor, um, they're made to look vintage or antique, but they're not. These fluted dishes are real nice. I am probably going to leave these on the shelf as I have a lot of amber pieces. Amber is just not a desirable color. This is very nice. I wonder who makes it. Maybe Murano, not sure. Top looks a little rough. Oh, I'm gonna leave it. Look at this nice planter or pot. See, if you need one of those for your plants, just go to your local thrift store because they're so expensive retail. Um, I don't know what that. It doesn't, doesn't belong in this area. Okay. I'm so drawn to pictures that um, are either painted in Portugal or Italy, and, but, but they don't really sell well. This um, <laughs> That looks like a butt. It's a brass ashtray. <laughs> I'm going to leave it. It's definitely been used quite a bit oh my gosh this is a definite pickup this is like a wood carving very it kind of is giving me that art deco vibe right teeth are perfect everything is absolutely perfect about this for about six dollars it's going in my cart I'm always kind of hesitant to pick up any type of dolls. This is a very thick resin. She looks super realistic. I don't know anything about dolls. That's a thing. Um, except for like buyer's choice dolls. But that one was just too creepy. It looked real. This pink glass doesn't look too old. Looks kind of modern. 
and kind of like a darker pink. I might regret not picking that up. I love clay pots, but I have many pieces and this is made in China. I'm gonna leave that behind even just for $4. I don't really like the design on it either. This owl, I have picked this owl up several times and if next time I come here, it's still there, I will definitely pick it up. I love fat birds. I am obsessed with them, but that one is very modern. Missing some coasters in there. This elephant planner is very, very, very worn. Too worn for me to want to bring home. Here's another clay pot. These may test positive for lead. They're quite old. I'm going to go ahead and pick up this Jesus. Um, the brass pieces always sell well for me. And I don't know if that's maybe celluloid. Who knows? Very nice. Probably from the 80s. This planter I might regret not picking up also, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it because I do have a lot of vases like that, so or planters. So Unless I see a head vase, I'm going to leave those. Oh, look at this. This is Mud Pie. Mud Pie is a great brand to resell, uh, but I have that exact one with some dishes that come with it. Flash colored here. Uh, what's this? Oh, there's another Jesus on a wood wood plank, so I like that. I'm going to definitely pick that up, especially around the holidays. People really do love gifting those to loved ones, as do I. There's more of these clay pots. I see a bunch of them, even on another shelf. <laughs> okay, so quilts I do well selling on whatnot, uh, usually when I'm live um because it's like depending on if the person actually likes it and wants me to pick it up for them but i don't really want to keep linens in my home too much because they trap dust if they haven't sold um fast enough and i'm very allergic to dust so i don't want to keep linen um i'm going to have carpet at my dad's where i live but i live uh, back and forth i go to my dad's house and then i live at my father-in-law's house also and they have carpet and i do react quite a bit so i'm on 24 7 zyrtec this throw is really vibrant the red and the white would be a good pickup for christmas kind of look like candy cane look at this it goes like in front of a shower lining. Very 80s, very, very old Florida. I love that. Um, I just like looking. These pots, see, I found some more. <laughs> there's, there's many of them. This is an old box. I can't tell if at the top those three spots are dirt or glue, and then maybe there was some kind of rose or floral applique on it. I don't know. Oh, I love these stained glass um, welded boxes. Oh, they only want $3 for it with the dried flowers. I'm going to get it. <laughs> I haven't even tried selling them because I like them so much. Oh, look at this poodle. Oh, well... It's seven dollars. He's got a broken um, beard <laughs> fur on the left side of his face. Oh, he's the musical poodle, but I don't think that the value of this is um, worth even the seven dollars. And I know that I might put it back. I just have to think about it. This paperweight is a Chinese one. This is really nice. It's all clay. Or actually, it's ceramic. Wow. Gonna... Oh, I want to pick it up, but I think it's... Hmm. It's damaged. Yeah. I have lots of these. Uh, I don't want to pick up any more of them. Let's see. Here, this is the seasonal section, by the way, guys. Um, the selection isn't always very good, to be really honest. I've never really gotten lucky in this area of the store. 
This is heavy. Whoa. Yeah. Now for $13. Okay, let's look at everything on every shelf. Don't want to miss anything. Oh, look at this. Kind of like a gentleman's jewelry box. Made in Japan. It's studded. Although I don't think that's um, brass. It's plastic because it's wearing, the color's wearing on the beads. Ugh, they wrote directly on it. I love it. Let's see if I can fix that. All right. Um, is this soapstone? Hmm. Oh, man. I'm, I like that. No. <laughs> Souvenir piece. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Football bank. It's missing the bottom piece. I know that. The stopper. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Probably made in China. Or maybe it came with the flamingo and then somebody painted it. I don't know, but it's cute. It's kind of kitsch. That porcelain, that thick porcelain tells me that it's Chinese. It's not marked anywhere. Usually they have a sticker that says made in China. And this is kind of cute. I think it's a, it might be a project piece. Made in the U.S. This is a different copper mold. It's got the Florida de lis on it. Um, I'm going to have to do some research on this. If you guys recognize this piece at all, please drop a comment and let me know. Definitely going to take that. That looks interesting. Let's see. Um, we're winding down here. Okay, this is marble, I think. It's very heavy. I'm not going to pick that up. It's nice, though. Like, if I need it for myself, I could put cotton balls in it. But I don't need it. And um, just checking to see. There's a chip. It looks like it's in pretty good condition. It's only $5. But I'm going to leave it. I have some marble pieces already. Here is another made in Italy tile. I like them. There's a little bit of crazing on that one. I see another one here. I'm going to pick these up. They're definitely made in Italy, and they're very nice. The crazing on this one, isn't, it's not very much. I'm not a fan of crazing. Some people are okay with it. A bacteria can get underneath the crazing. But unless you're drinking out of something or eating out of something with crazing, I don't think it actually matters. I just don't like the look of crazing. This is nice. I think it's a, a Lego piece, L-E-G-O. Or maybe, a, it's not Italian, not sure. What is that? Teleflora, I think it said. I, don't know. I have eyesight problems. I know, I always forget my, my glasses. Okay, we're gonna keep on going. This is a pretty canister. Oh, it's a Santa canister. I'm going to leave it because I have a lot of canisters and Christmas is almost here. So cool sangria pitcher again with the pitchers. <laughs> it's just so pretty though, isn't it? $5. I hope someone picks that up. How cool. All right. Let's see. Lots of fruits or veggies or <laughs> the mummy's cute. I have something like it. That's a teleflora maybe. This is pretty, a decanter. I'm gonna leave that decanter as missing a stopper. Let's see here, $5. Hmm. I'm not too excited about that piece. Ah, uh, this little owl's cute, but oh geez, they want $7 for it. It's not signed walled or anything like that, so. 
I've sold pieces that are signed Wald on it, W-A-L-D, but that one wasn't, so these are modern. They were $5 before, and look at this, three bucks here. Those are from the $5 aisle at um, Target. Mosey on down. Look at the handles on this. Ooh, the glass is all messed up. This is a piece I would definitely bring to my vintage market and not try to ship it, but it's pretty scuffed. And honestly, when you pick it up, it doesn't actually feel like really good quality. Wow, so many things, dishes, teapots. I have this crimped milk glass bowl, so I'm gonna leave it for someone else, but I do like it very much, but I think I have, actually have more than one, so. It's okay, I like the paint job on that too much. We'll leave that. Just kind of grazing over the all the um, uh, platters and plates because you just never know when you find a piece that's valuable. I get burned with Villaroy and Bach as much as I love Villaroy and Bach. There are some pieces worth more than others and I just don't miss. Look at that. That's a magenta teapot. That's just a sphere. <laughs> At first I thought these might glow, but they're not. They're just, you know, tinted glass. Um, that might glow. I could whip out my black light, but that's pretty. Made in Mexico likely. Again, I have pieces like that. I'm looking for real special pieces to resell. That panda's so cute in my cart. There's some stuff up here also. This is a baggie of vintage cheese, bread, and I guess that's it. You never know what you can find in these baggies, although I'm gonna tell you guys, be careful if you come here because I find sharp objects sticking out or sometimes I get cut so it's so high up but I'm really short so if you're tall it's to your advantage I am too short um, Christmas shopping bag these are some types of paperweight <laughs> it's a shake me pretty Confetti frame collection. Oh, it's, um, you can put a photo in there. I'm interested in it, though. <laughs> this is cool. There are little sailboats with sand in it with a, I mean, it's glass, like a bottle with sailboat in it. And, um, sand, maybe from a gift shop that, you know, just donated those. But that would be great to pick up for, like, a beach-themed wedding. Or favor for favors. These are Noritake gold and white um, napkin rings. Just trying to show you that it says Noritake there. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave those. Another baggy. Oh, I don't do anything guns, so I will definitely leave that. <laughs> I don't want to encourage anything. Um, what's this? I'd like to know what's in these mystery boxes. Ooh, um, that's mud pie. Okay, now I know I've looked these up before, and this would probably sell... Especially that it's new in box, but they want, I don't know, there's a sticker that says $2.99 and then it's a $7.99. Chances are they're going to honor the one that's actually written on, uh, assuming that someone stuck that sticker on it. So I'm definitely going to leave that. All right, let's keep looking. Oh my goodness, look at this sweater slash jacket. Ten bucks. I might need this for me, y'all. 
Oh, I love the color block. Oh my God, I love it. With some white pants and sneakers, baggy white pants and sneakers. Yeah, these Campbell's Soup Bowl um, mugs do not do well for me. This is a Disneyland Resort Tinkerbell. So $1.99. Yeah, I'm going to take it. Disney sells pretty well. found this Australia hat, too. I just kind of slipped it in there uh, between scenes. Um, I'm going to pick that up. And then I found this, but I don't think I'm going to pick it up. I just want to show it to you because it's nice and vintage. And it comes with a little coin bag, coin purse in there. So that's cute. It does need some repair, and I'm not very good with stuff like that. If my mom was alive, she'd probably fix it up, but... I'm going to leave it. I thought it was kind of cute. Kind of Art Deco-like design. Um, they have these little clutches here. Okay, back to the mugs. Um, Shalor. I know I've seen this before, something like it. Oh, my. Am I going to get booted off of YouTube for that? Not my fault. <laughs> uh I think they just set some things down here yep uh, i don't know if this was there before it's nighttime now it gets nighttime very very early and i'm just looking up there i didn't even go upstairs look at all those quills just waiting for me to purchase them i do so well selling quills oh well next time okay so i spent it was close to 300 it was like 280 something dollars but i think that i could flip at least three or four of those massive amounts of items whatever i bought um for close to that amount so we're good do hope you enjoyed this thrift along video if there's anything that you saw me thrift that you would like to purchase just email me at jolieflips at aol.com i'll let you know if it's still available just describe the item again thank you guys so much for watching the video please subscribe and like